All right, so first we're going to do number 21. And it's 4 over 5 and minus 1 plus 2n and minus 4. I always recommend you look at the fractions and you see, can you reduce this? Can you? Can you reduce this? Nope, and nothing factors, right? In fact, it's already factored for us. So, I'm going to rewrite the problem. And I always like to give myself a little space because I usually add stuff there. Now, the denominators, do they have anything in common? No, we have a 5, n minus 1, n minus 4. They have nothing in common. So I'm going to need to give this one a 5, n minus 1, and give this one an n minus 4. Okay? So when I give this an n minus 4, and then this one's going to need a 5, n minus 1. So now I have a common denominator, it's 5, n minus 1, n minus 4, see, 5, n minus 1, n minus 4. And on top I'm going to get 4, n minus 4, plus, now I could go ahead and multiply 2n times 5, 2n times 5 is 10n. n minus 1. Now I'm going to distribute. So that would be 4n minus 16. And that would be um, 10n squared minus 10n. Now the denominator, you may recall that you should just leave it the same. Okay. Now I have terms that combine. It looks like I, I'm going to put the 10n squared first. And then I have 4n minus 10n is minus, uh, uh, yeah, minus 6n. And then minus 16. Now you have a fraction, okay, it's an algebraic fraction, and you should always reduce it. So in order in order to reduce this, I need to see what the factors are. So is there a GCF here? Yeah, two, right? So if I take two out, I'm gonna borrow space, I guess. All over. Now, too bad the 2 and the 5, too bad that I didn't do anything, okay? But maybe, just maybe, I could factor. Oh, did I write 8? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, thank you. That should be 8. Maybe I could factor 5n squared minus 3n minus 8. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. <coughs> It's a trinomial quadratic. A is not 1. That's where you take 5 times negative 8 and get negative 40. And then negative 3. So you're going to ask yourself, are there two numbers that multiply to negative 40 but add to negative 3? Hmm? Close. It would be negative 8 plus 5, right? Correct? To get that negative 3. And then you take this and you break that up into negative 8 
plus 5 in. You guys remember factoring like this? And then you break it in half. And over here, GCF is just N, leaving 5N minus 8. Over here, there is nothing in common except 1, so you factor out a 1, leaving 5N minus 8. And so you get 5N minus 8, N plus 1. Well, that's this factor, right? So to keep going, I get 2, 5n minus 8, n plus 1, all over 5, n minus 1, n minus 4. Now, does anything cancel out? Well, that's an n minus 1, that's an n plus 1. So they do not cancel out. Okay. Usually, when you factor, things start canceling out, but in this case, nothing did. Let's look at the answer for number 21 and check our work. <coughs> hey, 21, notice they have a different answer. 5n squared minus 3n minus 8. 5n squared minus 3a minus 8. So they stopped here. And the reason why they were able to stop there is because nothing factored, okay? Or nothing uh, canceled out. But I would prefer you go ahead and take it to that next step, okay? Because what if something did cancel?